just got home from Port Townsend and I was walking home from the ferry and I just decided to do a quick grocery run and I went to Save On Foods, which is just a conventional grocery store. I I didn't want to go too buck wild because I hadn't been home in a few days and I wasn't totally sure what I had on hand, but I knew that I had wiped out most of my produce. So it was mostly a produce run um, and I got like a lot. I spent $50. I did get some couple other things, but I'll just show you. And I think I just feel like safe with produce because I know I'll eat it. I know it's good for me and I can really limit my plastic when I just stick to like a very robust veggie and fruit diet, but obviously you can't live off just fruits and vegetables, but um, got bell pepper, some carrots, got two just medium yellow onions. Um, I got a few potatoes, no real plans, but no real plans for any of this. A red onion. I got a pomegranate for no reason at all, other than um, I, I want it, I want it. Another really random impulse was two plantains, which I'm really actually excited about. I used to eat a lot of plantain and I haven't for a while, so I'm gonna probably just fry those up. Mm. Bananas, tomatoes, I got three avocados. I go through such phases with avocados and I guess I'm in one right now. I think I'm gonna make some guacamole. Got a green bell pepper. And then the items that are not fruits and vegetables are two cans of coconut milk and some dark chocolate. In this haul, the plastic just consists of the stickers. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that's it. And um, yeah, it's Monday night. Just wrapping up the long weekend. I'm feeling, I'm feeling tired. It was just always the travel days are, are feel they feel long. Um, I kind of feel like I have a sore throat coming on or I do have a sore throat, but I don't know what that, what it means yet. So I'm just gonna quickly unpack, put these groceries away, make some popcorn and watch some TV but I'll talk to you soon.
So I haven't been as active this week. I've just been actually sick for two days of this week. I was off work both Tuesday and Wednesday with a cold and my energy levels just have not been been all that. But I did manage to um, work today and yesterday and I'm feeling much better. And Brian's actually arriving this evening. Um, it was his birthday yesterday. So really looking forward to spending the weekend with him. I had a couple grocery store wins today. I spent about an hour and a half grocery shopping and I set out a list ahead of time, which was um, really helpful where I wrote my list and then I categorized them by which stores I had to go to get them. And what I noticed this time is that I'm getting really clear on what stores I go for what. Um, so I had a grocery store run, a butcher run, a bulk barn run, and a zero waste emporium run. So I'm really not um, minimizing any type of work for myself, but I'm, I'm feel, I feel really good about it all. So I wanted to show you what I got. Um, and I do have to confess that I had to buy, or I chose uh, to buy something in plastic today, this gluten-free flour it's become pretty apparent that it's really difficult to find gluten-free products outside of plastic because of the severity of allergies and and how serious celiac disease is so they really wrap this shit up and so i um just have maybe a quarter cup left of this bag and uh so i i bought a replacement i will be recycling these with my soft plastic but I just wanted to get that off my chest. So I'll just show you what I got at the conventional grocery store first. Eggs, some local strawberries, which I was really happy to see in a cardboard, a little crate carton basket. Um, look at how cute. So that's really nice. I've been missing berries and I haven't been buying them because they all come in plastic. As we move into berry season, um, there's gonna be more and more local berries. And it seems that they normally come in something of this nature, or the, you'll see the green ones. Oh, this is another plastic. This is my guilty pleasure. The creamer, spinach, lettuce, tuna in tins. And then I got some wild salmon, jar of maple syrup that's in glass, four apples with the plastic stickers that seems to be unavoidable that's it from the conventional grocery store i felt like I bought more than that that might be it folks i then went to the butcher and i got four chicken breasts and some bacon and i spent 29.39 on those two pieces of meat and I'm really beginning to examine my meat intake and trying to prioritize plant-based meals um, first and foremost, and then trying to just have meat as more of a like special treat. At Bulk Barn, I just got coconut and some gummies because I use these as a pre-workout for running, which, um, my friend Fiona recently shared a reel or a TikTok around um, how these are just as good as like any type of fancy gummy gel thing. Like these are just as good. So I have definitely been dabbling more than just for runs. So I have to watch, but this was so affordable. So I mean, I only got the two items at Bulk Barn and I spent $6. So this coconut was $1.28, so that's pretty great. And then this big thing was $4.50. So my priorities are a little out of whack. My trip to the Zero Waste Emporium, I got brown rice spaghetti wrapped in paper, more tortilla chips, and frozen blueberries. 
And then I actually made one more trip, one more special stop. Um, it's to the, I think it's called the Mexican House of Spice. And I was able to buy a tortilla press. So this is like a cast iron tortilla press. This was 40 bucks, not cheap, but it weighs a ton. I do feel like it's pretty good quality. And this Massa flower, Ma Maseca, oh boy, oh boy, I apologize. Uh, but this is the tortilla flower to make your own tortillas. And so I've seen smaller bags of this in the grocery stores and they've been in plastic, but I went to this Mexican house of spice and this is in paper and the tortilla press came in this box and I was like, oh no, it's gonna be all wrapped in like bubble wrap or plastic, but it literally, I just opened it and it was just the tortilla press. It was like, not, it was just loose, loose in the box. Um, so that was like so great. And I just, that store was amazing to, to experience. That was the haul today. Um, it kind of honestly felt not good, but like I felt okay being like, you know what? I have to buy this flower and it's in plastic. And I think I've been pretty like diligent and, and almost like bordering on hard on myself to like be plastic free. So it was nice to just be like, you know what? This, this is one of the exceptions. I'm not making very many, but this is one of them. And um, I still feel very confident that I am, I have minimized my plastic tenfold. Like there's no doubt about it. I'll release one more video as kind of like a wrap up to just really uh, narrow in on my takeaways from this month because today's the 26th and we're just a few days left in this in this plastic free month. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll wanna share kind of where I hope to go beyond this one month. I wanted to uh, bring this video to a close. I, I wanna recognize that it was a little bit of a chaotic and um, yeah, just sort of unfiltered take on the last week and a bit. I. I just felt like life was pretty busy and I ended up getting sick and Brian was here. I was in Port Townsend um, and I also ran a half marathon this past weekend. So it's just been uh, full on and within all that, I have been really focused and dedicated to this plastic free month and there were some, there was some low, some low moments in this last little bit and I want to speak to that. Brian and I didn't get a chance to really film too much of my time in Port Townsend and I have to admit that being away from my plastic free bubble and away from the city that I've come to really know and know where my plastic free alternatives are, um, that was really hard. So in Port Townsend, they have a wonderful grocery store. That it's their co-op. And they do actually have a um, container type system for their bulk food. And they have a like a hot food deli, sort of like self-serve counter. And they have some really good sustainable options there. Like all of their packaging is compostable. They also have a container system where you can like bring back these sort of hard plastic containers and they'll sanitize them and I believe reuse them. And then there was like a jar recycling system for bulk products. So the, the infrastructure is, is there in a sense, um, certainly not as progressed and, um, mature as what I have access to in Victoria. So Brian and I had conversation, conversations just around affordability and how it really is just so much more expensive. Like the co-op is a great store, but it's way more expensive than their other grocery stores. And so it, 
it was eye-opening in that I realized like I have it really good here in Victoria. We have some really great local options. We did end up going to a farmer's market, which was really nice. We bought some local produce. I bought a lip balm that is in like a cardboard tube. Um, but again, like we paid way more money for that produce than we would at the grocery store. And we actually don't need to buy produce from the farmer's market when the grocery stores usually have some pretty good options. So there was that. Um, and it was hard because, you know, I've set out on this month long challenge and, um, as much as Brian supports me and supports the, the energy and is, is open to learning and, um, recognizing some of the impacts, like, uh, I can't force him to have a plastic free month. So, um, as much as he's really open to like reducing it and like supports me, like, um, when he went grocery shopping while we were in Port Townsend, like he bought food in plastic and that is just like, that is reasonable. And that is not something that I could be like, we're doing that, like we're plastic free. It's like, no, Corey, you made that call. You made that choice. Um, so I wanted to share um, some of the plastic I accumulated this past week. It's been over a week. It's been closer to like 10 or more days. Um, I did just find these big, big jars, which I'm really excited about. I think uh, I just found them on the side of the road. Somebody put them out in front of their house. I think these would be great for oats or granola, um, kombucha. These, um, I just couldn't let these, I don't have a specific idea for these yet, but I just thought these are great storage jars. So, uh, those were a win. You also probably noticed in some of the footage I took this week, like a, a real kind of homestead vibe. Um, I've been getting really into trying to make things from home. So I made the kombucha. I've been drying some herbs. So I have... I thought it was chamomile, it's not. It's, oh no, what is it? It's some sort of pineapple weed that's sort of like chamomile adjacent um, that I'm drying for tea. And then I'm drying some oregano that I've been growing. Um, what else have I been doing? Just trying to make more meals at home and getting a little more innovative in the kitchen. I'm. I'm re recognizing that I'm really intimidated by gluten-free baking, so I do want to put a little more energy into that because I don't want to feel like the sacrifices I'm making are like, uh, that I am resentful of them or that I'm feeling like I'm lacking things or I'm taking too much out. Like, I want to be able to like eliminate plastic and eliminate gluten and still feel like I have a lot of options available to me. So this, this pile is getting a little bigger than I, you know, want, but, um, I'm just being real. So this is, um, I brought this home from Port Townsend because Brian went grocery shopping and I asked him to buy popcorn. And so this is the package of pa package from the popcorn bag. So I brought it home because it's like, I asked for it, I ate it, I enjoyed it. So here is, um, here's the plastic. I bought Brian some flip flops for his birthday and they're, um, they were connected with these little ties. Um, we went out for um, a little dessert to the My Chosen Cafe and we asked for the desserts to, for here, so we got them on plates with you know metal forks, and I had this flourless chocolate cake, and it came with a raspberry sauce. Um, and the raspberry sauce unfortunately came in this plastic ramekin, and I think this is a result of COVID in a lot of ways. A lot of places have um, stopped using reusable products and have substituted for like the sanitary plastic option. 
Um, so that was really disappointing because I had thought, you know what, we're, we're, we're having it for here. Like we're eliminating like any type of packaging, any type of to go packaging. And then it still came with this. And I, I didn't even think to ask. Um, I thought that by asking for it for, to stay that, that we'd be avoiding this, but unfortunately not. Um, some fruit stickers this week and a real bummer. So I, you know, the first week I had this like sad moment of being like, no, I, we accidentally got spoons. And so I was diligent and I went out and I bought a spork and I've been keeping it in my fanny pack and I actually was using it. Um, I used it multiple times. And yesterday I was kind of clean, cleaning out my fanny pack and getting rid of a few things that I had in there. And I pulled out my spork and it somehow snapped in half this week. I have no idea when or how that would have happened, but uh, it's like, that sucks. Like that sucks so bad. Cause that was like, not, not the plan. The plan was for this to last a lot longer. So, um, yeah, that's, that was my sad, my sad moment this week. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, ultimately we're still doing pretty, like this is pretty low compared to, um, the typical for myself. And next week, like, I really do hope that my next video can show you like all the progress I've made in my home and what are some of the sustainable changes that I plan to continue beyond this month. And I wanna just be really honest around the, the areas that have been hard and that, you know, maybe I'm not quite ready to make like a, a long-term change. Um, but I already feel confident that changes are being made and I've gotten into some really good practices and I feel motivated. I feel really excited to continue on in a way. Um, and it's just, I, I really do recommend this, this process to anyone just even as like a month, like, can you reduce your waste for one month like that? will have a significant impact if we all did that like there's no doubt in my mind that that would would benefit our planet so i think i'll end it here i um oh there's a little some sort of little bug looks like a moth um <laughs> the windows have been open and it's been getting i've been getting all kinds of creatures uh coming to hang out um, so yes, so thanks again for being here for, um, for all of the input and feedback and comments and stories being shared in the comment section. I, I just love this community. I love sharing. I love learning. If you took anything away from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. So without further ado, I will see you next time. Thanks everybody. Bye.